Hi everyone! In today's video I am going to be doing a walkthrough of the Mom Cozy S12 pump. If you're new here, my name is Cassie Reyes. I am a registered nurse and a board certified lactation consultant. The Mom Cozy company did send me their S12 as well. If you remember, I have also taken a look at their S9. Um, I've actually, now that baby was born, have been able to try out this pump and I will give you guys a rundown of how I've been feeling about the Mom Cozy pump. Uh, but for today's video, we're going to focus on this newer pump from them, which is the S12. So the S12, let me go ahead and open this up. Uh, same as the S9 comes with a one-sided pump. You're just going to get one unless you order the double. When you open up the box, you're going to see that you also get the bra strap extender like we had with the S9. Except this time, instead of being plastic, it's actually like a nice fabric. Same as a regular bra strap material. So that's kind of an upgrade from their S9. And you're going to see a pump that looks very similar. Let me get this box out of the way. You're going to see a pump that looks very similar to the S9. The pump itself is different. However, the parts are the same as the S9. They're interchangeable. Um, and this is the S12 pump. It's a little bit smaller and it's round. Um, and it has a digital display. So let me get this set up so that we can take a closer look at what it looks like, at its functionality, and I'll show you how to... Uh, Put together and take apart the pump parts. I just wanted to show you here side by side um, what it looks like next to the S9. As you can see the S9 and the S12 are pretty similar. You're gonna see the S12 over here on the left and you're gonna see the S9 over here on the right. The pump parts, uh, so this part is the same on both and they're interchangeable and the pump for the S9 is a little bit bigger and you there's the buttons that we talked about in the S9 video. Um, it does not have a digital display and this is the S12 which is going to have a digital display. So here's the power button. Um, let me flip that around and this is the power button over here on the left. As you can see it does have a digital display. This is the power button. This is your battery display over here so you can actually see how much battery you have left. And this number over here is gonna show you how long you've been pumping for. So that's gonna be your minute counter right there. This number over here is gonna be the level that you're on and you can adjust that with this up and down here. It does have nine levels. And you can see we're going to go all the way up to level 9, which is very strong. Um, I usually use this between level 1 and 3, but you do what works best for you and what feels comfortable for you. There are two modes on here, so right now we are in the letdown mode. The mode, um, like I said with the S9, does do the several lighter sucks and then one stronger suck at the end. So I actually, for personal preferences, uh, don't find that comfortable and I just change modes to the suction mode right away. So this is the expression mode as it's called on other pumps and you'll see the little droplets up there in the left hand corner. If you want to go back to the letdown phase, you will see that little heart on the right hand corner. So we're going to leave it in the expression phase. Again, this is how you move the suction up or down. And you just saw that switch. The Over here on the left hand bottom side, you're going to see the minute counter. 
I really like this about the S12 comparing it to the S9 because you lose track, especially if you are um, sleep deprived <laughs> as most of us are, you're gonna lose track about, of how long you've been pumping or if you're using this in the middle of the night. So it's really useful to have that minute counter there. So that's pretty easy, four buttons, power button, up and down for changing the suction level and changing the mode that you're in. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off and show you guys how easy it is to take this pump apart and put it back together. Just as a side note, I do have my baby in her carrier, so if you're hearing some heavy breathing on the microphone, that's probably her. Um, it's very easy to take this apart. You just need to pop this off and to take it apart, you are going to, this is your flange. It comes standard in a 24 and you can order it in a 27, just like the other pump. They do not have an option for this either, for it to be larger than a 27. Um, the flange is soft, so that's kind of a nice feature. I usually do need a size um, bigger than a 24 flange, but with this pump I am mostly able to use the 24 flange um, mostly comfortably. <laughs> So this comes off and this is your collecting cup so you can see the markings on the side here. I mean, maybe you can't see it but there, um, there's a line for 60, 120, and 180 milliliters. The flange, the diaphragm is here. and the duckbill. So there you can see all the parts. There are one, two, three, four, five parts that need to be washed. Um, the one thing I will say about both the both of these pumps really since the parts are the same is that it's very positional. So if you don't have this facing the correct direction it is really difficult to get good suction and good milk output. So once you get that figured out, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, but it took me a couple of uses to realize how positional this was. So let me show you. Um, when you put this in, the duckbill is facing down inside this bowl and you want it to be lined up so that it's like this. So you want it to be lined up across like that. This diaphragm is going to pop back on this round section here. And you can see the hole in the top of the collection cup. This pushes right up into the top of there and when you push that up into the top you want to see a teeny gap between the duckbill here and the side of the collection cup. If there's no gap there and the duckbill is pushed up against the side of the collection cup you're not going to get good suction and good milk output. So this is what you want it to look like. And then when you put the flange back on, you're going to notice that there's a little cutout at the top and there's also a cutout at the top of the cup. And that's where you're going to pour your milk when you're done pumping. So you want to make sure when you put the flange on that you're lining that hole up at the top. You're going to push it in in the center so it's nice and secure. And then you're going to push the silicone part on all the way around like that. And then to get the pump back on, you just line up this circle here. And you push it back together and you're ready to go. Make sure it's on there nice and secure, it should snap in. 
Okay, so just to give you guys a little more information about this pump, it is very portable, um, very easy to pop in your bra and use on the go if you're walking around your house, if you are driving. Um, it's not super quiet, it is noticeable, so you will hear it. It is made of food grade silicone material and is BPA free and the charging time is about two and a half hours and that is good for about 80 minutes of use. It can hold up to 180 milliliters of milk, uh, so that is about six ounces. The main difference between the S9 and the S12 is the exterior design. The S12 is their latest model and the S12 has the digital display um, where you can see the battery level and the duration of how many minutes you've been pumping and it allows you to better visualize what suction level you are on. Suction otherwise I find to be very similar between the two pumps. So the display is different and this one I would say is a little bit sleeker um, but and it does have that nice bra strap with it. Um, the Other than that, they work pretty much the same and I use them pretty interchangeably. Um, I tend to use either one of these on the opposite breast when my baby is latching on the left because she has a hard time latching on the right. I'm exclusively pumping it at this point, so it's really helpful to be able to wear this in my bra on the other side, especially in the middle of the night. Um, when I'm breastfeeding my baby on the other side. Um, that is the main use that I find for this pump. I wouldn't use it necessarily to establish a supply. And the last but not least price of this pump for a single-sided pump is $74.99. So not bad. Not bad for a in-bra portable um, wireless tubeless cordless pump. So that's it. I hope that you all enjoyed the video and that it was informative for you. Let me know if you have any questions down below. And remember to subscribe down below to join the community. And if you hit the bell, you're going to be notified every time I post a new video so you won't miss a thing. Thank you for being here and I will see you all soon. Oops. Oops. <laughs>